Good evening, I'm Carol LeBeau. And I'm Kimberly Hunt. Could a nationwide manhunt be zeroing in on San Diego County? 10 News reporter Michael Chen is live in the newsroom now with the details. Michael? He is on the U.S. Marshals list of most wanted fugitives. Officials call him intelligent, armed, suicidal, and very likely hiding in San Diego County. A friendly neighbor turned wanted man. It's surprising, shocking. Three years into the manhunt for Frederick McLean, Marianne Bentley still can't believe. Nice. Talkative. The man that lived just up the road from her Fallbrook home, a father of two she often saw with groups of children, is on the run. I just thought he was a good guy that was out with kids. Instead, prosecutors say he was a predator. According to the U.S. Marshals, McLean used his power as a Jehovah's Witness to lure young girls. It's unclear how many victims, but they say one victim estimates McLean molested her over a hundred times. It's believed McLean committed these acts over a 20-year period. And when investigators closed in... He had lost a lot of weight. McLean disappeared with more than $100,000 in cash. 10 News has learned tips, including some involving possible online activity, have pointed investigators back to the San Diego area, along with Fallbrook. Records show McLean has lived in Vista and on this property in El Cajon. Wherever he is, officials fear McLean will strike again. The kids, they don't deserve that. We need to be their voice. On this night, her voice joining a chorus of law enforcement, hoping for tips. If he's hurting children, yes, he needs to be put away. And to that end, the U.S. Marshals also looking at the Anza Borrego Desert and the Cuyamaca Mountains, where McLean frequently camped. The marshals expected to release more information on the case sometime tomorrow. Live in the newsroom, Michael Chen, 10 News.